Today I'm restarting my project to make a wood gas generator. And so what I'm doing, I'm going to use a 20 gallon uh, garbage can as the filter instead of this teeny little coffee pot, which obviously didn't do the job. So, I'm going to show you how I start the hole here. So first I use a quarter inch drill to put two holes in here. And then I've enlarged it with a uh, nibbler. And so that hole is now big enough that I can get a saw blade in there and I'm going to use my reciprocating saw to open up the rest of the hole. Now I have stuck my hardware wire down in there so now that forms a basket which I can put my filter medium on. The yeah, medium filter medium I'm using is these uh, pine wood shavings and uh, I only used about a third of it to fill up those 20 gallons. So, uh, this is about 11 bucks for this huge bag, so fairly inexpensive. Now I'm going to put oil on this filter and complete the filter. Today is January 26th. I have finished assembling my new improved wood gas generator. And uh, so we have the reactor over here. I filled it with some, some wood pellets. I got my 40 pound bag of wood pellets. I've stretched out the hose. This will cool the gas. Gives it into my new, larger, new improved 20 gallon filter. And I'm going to be driving this with a small uh, air mattress pump. And what I've done is I've rigged myself a, a dimmer control here so I can actually control the speed. So I can make it go really low or I can screw it all the way up. And uh, then I'm going to be burning the gas out here at this end. So, don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to light her up and see what happens. It's been burning for about half an hour now, and I think it's uh, burning very cleanly, as near as I can tell. Can't see hardly any color out of that. So, there, there is still that stick in there, but you can see it's burning quite nicely there. That's just to keep the fire going. Seems to be working. Just to show we can get a useful amount of energy out of this thing, I'm gonna put this pan over here. We're gonna boil a little water here. And you can see we are getting a Useful amount of energy out of this thing. Oh, there you go. You can't even see the flame, but there it is. Boiling water. After about an hour, uh, the, it seemed to shut itself off, and it didn't seem like we was getting very much flow through. So I shut down the reactor by putting a tile on there, and I was just inspecting uh, what was going on here. So this is the stick that was inside the uh, plastic tube here, and it looks pretty clean. It doesn't look like there was any tar on it, so I think that uh, tar-wise we probably did okay. And... Uh, there was some moisture coming out here in the pump, and the pump looks like it's got some gunk in it. So, I'm not exactly sure what that's about. I'll have to take it apart and see what's going on. Okay, so I've taken apart the fan here, and quite clearly there was some tar getting into the fan. Now, I'm not sure whether that was during the startup process, or whether that came from uh, previous runs, because I was using the old hose. Um, but uh, that's what's happening with the fan here. I think that's what probably ultimately stopped it. My flare tube dropped off, but uh, still seems to be burning okay. Actually, the flame doesn't look too bad. It's pretty blue. 